for a special guest this morning, uh, the On The Move Art Studio that brings free art classes to kids in underserved Central Kentucky areas. Uh, we're going to highlight that right now. Yeah, they're working on some new projects and here to tell us more this morning is co-founder Kathy Working. So good to have you with us. It's so nice to be here. Thank you for having me. So first of all, for anybody who's unfamiliar with the program, which is fabulous, by the way, just tell us a little bit more about On The Move and the mission. Okay, well, we've been uh, providing free uh, art lessons to at-risk youth uh, since 2015. Uh, we partner with a lot of other nonprofits in the area as well as with school systems. Uh, and so we were you know, going uh, along very nicely and then COVID hit. And mm -hmm. so we had a year to kind of sit, sit back and think about um, our, our direction and, and uh, what we wanted to do in the future. Yeah, uh, a lot of folks had to rethink things at, at that time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. What um, is it? Uh, and, and, Kathy, and, what and, is it? Go ahead. Sure, sorry. I, I'm sorry. We're over talking. I'll, I'll be quiet. No, what is it about uh, exposure to the arts that, that helps people, you think, who are in you know, oh, a potentially I, you know, vulnerable situation? I, I, I've been getting that question a lot. And uh, my belief is that. Uh, the act of creating and having fun and using your imagination um, really helps, uh, you know, young people's uh, mental wellness. And as they are coming out of a, a period of, of trauma and grief and, and where nothing was normal mm -hmm. uh, anymore for them, they're really latching on to the creative process uh, to help in their healing. It is a wonderful program, and I know we talked about the fact that some kids, you know, in school, they don't always thrive because they're more artistically gifted. So this is their yeah. outlet to be able to do that. And it's also a great yes. way to learn as well. And that's kind of the new project you guys are working on, something that you're hoping will help kids here in the area learn about something very relevant. Right. Um, one of the projects that we have uh, uh, launched um, is called Artists of All Colors. And um, as I've been, you know, an art teacher for many years, I noticed that the existing art curricula, um, they, they tend to uh, overlook uh, really fabulous artists of color. Um, and we believe that representation really matters. And our uh, population is a diverse population. And so we wanted to uh, uh, highlight um, uh, the, the artists of color so that they can see themselves in it um, and everybody can understand. We, we really talk about a lot of the um, challenges in their, in their journey um, as well as how uh, the artist's challenges are reflected in their artwork. Now, real uh, quick, I know I, d I hate to talk over you. This Zoom thing is hard. I can't wait to have you back I in know person. It is. I'm sorry. But yeah. um, tell us how people can help because I think that's something a lot of people, you know, a mission they can get on board with. So, how do people help make that possible? Okay, so um, we have qualified uh, through the Fund for the Arts uh, Foundation for what is called an arts match uh, program. And we were um, okay for uh, raising $8,000, and then that $8,000 will be matched. Um, and what we're going to do with that money is provide um, these Artists of All Colors uh, lessons to about 1,000 uh, Fayette County Schools uh, ch uh, children free of charge. Um, and so uh, go to our website, www.onthemovearts studio.com, excuse me, dot org, you will find that uh, there's a donate button. Uh, we have until June the 30th uh, to raise the money. Uh, and uh, it, we've tried to make it as seamless and as, as easy right. as folks, possible. Folks need to get uh, right $5 on. would be helpful. <laughs> All right. Kathy, thank you so much. Wonderful program. We appreciate it.